but we're back again to keep it hella real as usual. From a baby can't help it. <laughs> and just in case you didn't know, I am Kayla Jo. I'm Katrina. And I'm Gio. And we about to get into some topics. So I just, I had to bring this to y'all because I really, I really, I just want y'all's reaction to be on camera. This is why I want to bring this up. <laughs> okay, so DJ Academics, you know, the dude who be beefing with uh, Jesus Romero. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I guess he had some little show where he, like, reviews albums. So Travis Scott album just came out. So he's sitting there reviewing it, and it's like his life going through each track. He's like, okay, this is this track. Then he gets the, drink, the one with Drake, mm -hmm. you know, it, um, Sicko, something like that. Sicko. Sigma, Sigma mode, yeah. yeah. Um, so <laughs> he he gets up the song and just he just hears Drake's ad lib. So just the fact that he knows. What was the ad lib? What, what does he do? I don't know. It's probably like, uh. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Or yeah. 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 Or or he probably said Kiki. No. <laughs> But anyway, so he realizes Drake's gonna be on the song, and his reaction is like men have this reaction to songs. Like I, I, I don't know. It's over the top. It's like too much. Like I feel like I would react like he got like he got proposed to. Yes. Like I. Like oh my god. Yes. 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 Like I feel like this reaction I would have like like. Wait, when you got proposed to, did you react this way? Not. Even. Not even. <laughs> I was at work, so you know that's it's a lot. It's just, but no, I didn't. Okay. And okay. Okay. So yeah, I pull it up, and I want to see. I just, I just want to see your faces. He said Astro. Hold on, I'm sorry. I got. Are you saying this? Are you saying this? I was at my mom. I'd be like, can I trust you? <laughs> oh 
don't know what you're facing. Not, 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 not off of this. Castro. <laughs> exactly. I, I, I missed it the first time. <laughs> like, I was like, what the fuck did he You're not a real Drake fan, that's it. Oh, right. Well, I guess not. Okay. Okay. Well, we are not going to get that excited, but we can get excited about our guest today. We got half of Coast Contra, so come to the set, please. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Have y'all seen that video though? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that boy had me rolling. I said, hey, no, nah, this nigga's the biggest cheerleader I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> But, but some, hey, at least you know I mean be genuine, you know what I'm saying? If you like it, like it. You know what I'm right. saying? You know what I'm yeah. Saying? Some cats be trying to sit there with the mean mug, like you really feel it in the inside. Like, you know, whole yeah. like, like, it's alright. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Bumping it the whole car already right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So first of all, just let our viewers know who you are, what you do, things, what y'all are about. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Um, I'm Brad Austin. I'm Real Low. And together we represent a half of Coach Casa. My I got a twin brother, and then we got a partner from Philly. His name is Eric Jamal. And together we make up Coach Contra. You know, hella infinite hip hop. So how did the group get together? Um, well, I'm, we, met at, we met in high school actually. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, we met in high school. We met in high school. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're great, we're great. So, so freshman year, because she helped me open up my locker. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Never open my damn locker. Wow. I was like, you have to turn it three times. <laughs> okay. And we met right after high school. Because I, but I had classes with her, but we never knew each other. Right, but right after we started, you know, it's like, yeah. She was like friends with our other friends. Right. And then we became hella close. Now we're real. Yeah. That's right. That's dope. That's dope. Yeah, we met in, what, 10th grade? Yeah, we met in 10th grade. Like, I have, so I, I moved to Miami in 8th grade. He moved to Miami in uh, freshman year. We did a, um, a freestyle battle. Like, we were doing freestyle battles. Yeah. 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 Like, we were doing freestyle battles. Like we were doing freestyle Fridays, and so he had, I remember he had stepped in on one of them, and he said like, your chick sucked me up like Kirby or something like that. And I was just like, I remember like, after that I was like, oh, he got bars, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, I was like, oh, I see how you put it together, I peeped the metaphor, I was like, okay, he actually got bars, you know what I'm saying? So, um, we used to have math class right back to back. Like, oh, yeah. Mr. Wilson. Yeah, Mr. Wilson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Mr. Wilson. So we used to have Mr. Wilson. I think I had I had it after him. But like this nigga just, you know what I'm saying? We was a little delinquent. This nigga just stayed in the class and we just like he had he's just not going to the next class and we just be in the class rapping with each other, like with the headphones. Y'all like, hear back. Yeah, Mr. Wilson. Hey you flop, Mr. Wilson. I'm gonna put you all the way out there, bro, but you you wasn't the best, my nigga. You know what I'm I yes. think we had some of those at our high school. He, he was just yeah, old. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mr. Wilson was too old for this shit. He was like, okay, I did this shit 30 years. I did all the first 15. I'm going to go in and get my paycheck. He ain't talking to y'all. Yeah, all the homies, I know everybody in his class, so I was like, yo, what's good? Yeah, 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 and then we kind of clicked up after that, we had formed a group called Urban Secrets with our partner Chris, um, and then after that, we, we got together and we, we formed uh, Coast Country. Okay, yeah. this hat, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. okay, yeah. Right, yeah. I believe you. Yeah. <laughs> so there's four of y'all, how do you how do you guys write your music for y'all? Collab or do it all separately. Yeah, this was I, I think actually this one we got a, we got another project in the tuck right now. But that was that was actually our first time all four of us coming together to do music. You know what I'm saying? We always we, we always represent ourselves as a collective. More so like so close country being the umbrella and we just like four artists that rock each other and brothers, you know what I'm saying? But right, like Neil School, so yeah, like Jill yeah, Sky, yeah, D'Angelo. Yeah, yeah, like, so it's okay. that no umbrella like and like it just represents quality, like you know what I'm saying? Like right. and so uh for us to come together this time was pretty cool because we, we, that was that was definitely a cool aspect, like kind of working with each other. You know what I'm saying? Like we we very um it's very uh, exciting because we like I know everybody is fired. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, so yeah. it's almost like a friendly competition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm about to say like we very competitive just because like we believe in the crap. You know what I'm saying? Like because like you know you can't come on some bullshit. Like you gotta right. Because right. right. niggas gonna come. Your boy, yeah. We be like, a group, you can't be represented. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, niggas don't skip your verse, bro. You better go rewrite that. Yeah, yeah. That should be cool. Yeah. 
Now, what long term aspirations do you guys have? Long term aspirations? Yeah. Man, we got it. Man, it's <laughs> like, uh -huh. I would say, at least on my end of it, with my, my, uh, my 25% of it, um, what I would like to do, honestly, is eventually I, I want to make close contracts. Uh, tangible, like you know what I'm saying, I, and I wanted to be able to do things for the community that I think have helped me in my life. Like my mom does music, you know what I'm saying. My mom is teaching Moses. And so um, she blessed me like really. She blessed me at 18 because like we we uh I had never been outside the country, and she's like, yo, grab, get your passport. I'm gonna I'm gonna take you to London. Uh, to her soul, and she like I had a song. She like she's like you gonna go go perform it, and like me leaving the country for the first time changed my life. I came back a whole other person than I did before I, before I left. You know what I'm saying? Like just kind of seeing that there's a whole other world out there. So eventually, what I like to do uh, this is just one skinny, or like one idea of the coast country. But I would like to use it to create an airline. Okay, it, I like that. And like I want to uh, be able to take little inner city kids out the neighborhoods and like just subsidize their travel to like. Cause I always say like, man, you've you been broke in fucking Watts, or broke in Chicago, or broke in, go be broke in Europe, go be broke in Spain, like, bro, it's just a different type of lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it could, I think definitely it could, it could, uh, it could help people just, you know, yeah, like enrich their lives. Like, oh, this is something I, I actually can achieve something. Or like, I would like to do this. You know what I'm saying? So that's what, that's just one idea. I have. It's a great idea. I've never heard that. Before. Yeah, you're doing. Um, and on your airline, I'm gonna need you to have like a passport to go back and forth to the Bay to LA. Oh, Yes, I'm just saying. She wanted to get like a discount or something. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. Like, yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, you together. Yeah, like, they're like, don't forget me. I had you on the show, okay? Most definitely. How about you? What's your 25 percent? Um, man, uh, I really want to just, you know, make close contact with. Everything could be, you know what I mean? I want to maximize that. And, you know, we stand for like what we stand for, how we gonna like, you know, help out with kids like us, you know what I mean? Like, that. Even you did by the way, you like, yeah, and like definitely like, you know, switching that over to the like Hispanic communities because I speak Spanish, you know what I mean? That's so, like, like you kicking back all the Spanish yeah, lyrics. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I would hold down that division, you know what I mean? Like, that would be like my 25%, but just really like, man, like, so much I'm gonna do with like, you know, cross country with Riot. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And like really Yeah, we got a club you know. line called uh Riot, Resisting and Justice Oppression Together. You know what I'm saying? And so like that's that's definitely that's that was a branch out of here. It's like Yeah, so yeah. And, and like yeah, like Riot is like it's a clothing line, um, and like the vision had just came and I was like, oh shit. And um we, we put it together and shit, yeah. it's fucking ill. Um but it's, it's basically any, it's like versus like, cause we all get oppressed, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. whether you, you know, you fat, black, ugly, white, you know what I mean? Like gay, whatever, like, it's all different type of like, people, you know, like we all get oppressed. So it's like, um, really coming up under one umbrella and a lot of cold minds are, are dope, but they don't even stand for shit. Right. Yeah. So this is a way to like raise awareness in a way, you know what I mean? So, and just kind of bring people together and like, you know what I mean? Like things that people don't really talk about, we can talk about and just talk about yeah. And let like, people like, you know what I mean? Let that shit bubble in, man. Yeah. Uh, where can they, where can they get this? Uh, it's on riotfits.bigcartel. Y'all heard that. Go ahead and support. It's the positive enrichment of the community. Yes. But for all y'all oppressed people, <laughs> that's all y'all. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All y'all, all y'all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yeah. um, what's the next big, big thing for Ghost Contra? You, you want to plug any shows or tour? Oh, we do have a show on August. No, I'm sorry, September 6th. September 6th, we're going to uh, we're gonna do a show with Asi. Yeah. Asi, who's really dope MC as well. Yeah. Big shout out to Asi. And then we also got uh, apartment 505 album in the top. Yeah. I, I don't okay. know exactly when it's coming out. Okay. But just be on the like, lookout. You have like, like a timeline in uh, like three months, four months. Uh, let's, just being optimistic, let's say tw early 2019. Okay, uh, okay. Yeah. I'm sure it will be out on camera. We don't say when, you know, yeah. uh, Donald Trump's son said it, so it, it kills me. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. Volcanic. 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 I like that. Yeah, I like that. Volcanic. Yeah, yeah we're starting the wave right now, so y'all can take it rolling. Yeah. We would love it. I'm gonna put on the verse. Yeah, I would love that. <laughs> we would. Love that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for coming out. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
always we always end off the show, uh, the interview. Mm -hmm. We're hella real. Y'all are, are hella. hella. We are hella. Cause Katra. <laughs> Hip hop. Ye. Facts. Yo, we out here. We out here. Raz Austin, real low. Sorry, Taj and Eric couldn't make it, but they out here in spirit. Taj looks like this. Taj looks like this. Taj looks like this. This is twin. He got blessed up with some good things. I held him down, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Now, do y'all want to plug your socials? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Coast Contra. Coast Contra on Instagram, all platforms. I'm Raz Austin, R A S. Underscore Austin A U S T I N. I'm Real Lows R I O L O Z. You can find the same tag on everything. Mm -hmm. um, pretty much it. Yeah, and you can find my brother Taj Austin. Underscore Taj. No, I'm sorry, just Taj Austin. T A J A U S T I N and Eric Jamal. Underscore Eric Jamal. And if you go to the Coast Country page, you can just see all four of everybody on this. So yeah, yeah. And then CoastCountry.com. Last uh, that was fun, y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, y'all. So we have to talk about because you know, as I like to mention, we're late millennials, elder millennials, and uh, so so deaf. That's a 25th anniversary tour, and it's gonna be volcanic. Super excited. Yes. We actually called it before they made this announcement. We did. We were talking. I said. I said they should do a tour like Bad Boy. Did. Yes. I said that shit. Four days later, they announced it. I was the one talking shit like, man, they ain't gonna do that shit. Nobody gets along. Da, 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 da. Like, I was talking about it. Here shit. we go. I got that's, loaded. Got the tour. Got loaded. <laughs> Who's on the lineup? We got the full escape. The full escape. We're candy. Nice. We're not the escape, but the number candy. candy. <laughs> the four. The jagged edge. The brat. Is she on there? Yes, yes. Don't she on brat. The brat. The brat. Nice. I, I just got the lineup right quick. Okay, yeah. So you got Anthony Hamilton. Anthony oh. Hamilton. I forgot about him being on. Are we? Yes. Bone Crusher. Oh no. Yes. Stuff. I'm always, <laughs> I'm always in the news. J D that J G J D them and them. <laughs> and E M. So J D and M. <laughs> Don't need that. So if I have to fall back, I will. That's so what he said. Like, I may not. No, so he didn't say he's not gonna go. Okay. He just he wants us to beg him to go. <laughs> yeah. Boy, do you know how many other legends is on this tour? What are you talking about? He just want us to get on Twitter and be like, come on, come on. We know you wasn't on the jet, so come on the tour. <laughs> Ain't nobody gonna beg you. No one's gonna do I that. I mean, I'm disappointed that he's, I, I mean, I I don't know. I feel like he's gonna go. Yeah. If Candy I think can go, wants, you can go. Right. Not, he's not like yeah. he's a little brat. He wants someone to beg him to go. If, I want you to fucking go because he got, you got some bops. Yeah. It's like, it's like go back to my it. middle school. Bow Wow are the same age. Maybe he just doesn't want to be called Little Bow Wow. It's Bow Wow. It's it says Bow Wow. Yeah, it's listening. No, but like the song. But the songs are like <laughs> Little Bow Wow. Where my dog's at. They're like nursery That's a good rhymes, point. you know. That's a good point. Cause Cause he he can't, can't do that. He can't do Little Bow Wow. But he has what we want. We want no. to fucking hear it. <laughs> Who cares? If Ice Cube can change today was a good day to friggin' every day like Kobe. You could change Little Bow Wow to Bow Wow. Say Bow Wow Wow. Do a song, change it up how you like it. Because we like the song. Because you got some bops. 
Yo, what are these dogs? I'm trying to remember. No, there was so like the, uh, where my dogs at? Yo, bow, wow, wow, no. yippee, yo, yo yippee, yay. yay. Where my yeah. dogs at? Holla if something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a minute. It's been. Well, that whole first album was my shit. Oh, y'all ain't gonna name no songs that he dropped when he was an adult. It's like, Fresh as I'm is. Remember that? <gasps> yeah, I remember that song. Oh, Fresh that? as I'm is. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're yeah. getting yeah. Fresh as I'm yeah. is. Yeah. 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 Okay. When you know what you like. When you know what you like. When you know you do. Yeah, them Bow Wow songs with, with Mario, right? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. See, them the Bow Wow songs. Y'all talking to Lil Bow Wow. We are talking about Lil Bow Wow. I like Bow Wow. I like Lil Bow Wow. And then the one with Sierra, the famous, like... Yeah. Did he have a song with Trey? I know. 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 Some dangerous shit. So I think there are chicks that just love hood niggas, or they feel bad bad boys. Yeah, yeah bad. Or that's that's the type of people they've been around, or their daddies like that. So that's what they're attracted. They're, they're this is my favorite word. They're intriguing. <laughs> I'm guilty of that. I'm like, oh, he's intriguing. No, yeah. he's on some fuck shit. Yeah. <laughs> That's all that is. It's a disguise. I'm gonna learn a lot of you, okay? <laughs> fun, this bad boy. No. So, yeah. There are dudes that are no. too square. No. You can't be too square. Yeah, you could. Because you, you if you don't, I don't mind square. I don't like boring. I don't care if you on a straight, like you very careful about life. Yeah. I don't like boring. Mm -mm. You can still be funny and be a square. That's I, I, true. Like it's a deal breaker. It's deal breaker. But if you funny. don't drink and you don't no, smoke, you don't have you, no vibe. Oh, that's like extreme, extreme. Yeah. <laughs> just, but that's squeaky fucking but That's not what I mean. But there are people well, like that. Uh, yeah, Russell Wilson could be like yeah, that. I can picture him smoking trees and like. <laughs> but at the same time, we don't know. They didn't be doing that on the low. We don't know. We don't know. We're not in that household. They could be doing that on the low. Who knows?
Cause if you get a thing, I'm gonna let you do it. But don't sit up here and judge. A thing. <laughs> yeah. Don't judge Your vices. Me. And that's it, ladies. That's what that's what it slipped up with saying. He wasn't okay. attacking Neil specifically. And no, no, I know, I get that. But yeah. but there, but he was saying that she that's like generalizing, right? Yeah. Just because I like future or I like those type of dudes doesn't mean I wouldn't like a square guy. Or like or I just never had a taste of a square guy, so I don't know how it is. And if I some for some reason you, start dating one, and then I'm like, like, dang, oh, what the fuck was I nice doing? Twenty four seven, right? This is what's <laughs> out here. Mm, yeah. Right. It's that's all situational. Like, like you said, like it's not. I mean, like that's extreme. Like, don't drink, don't don't yeah. smoke. But, I mean, it's all situate. I mean, it has to like, oh, but he it, income and looks and yeah performance Wait, in bed like all, all those things mm -hmm. yeah. or like even things like if he's like family oriented like all those little that's things, important it's like a, it's a balance right yeah right. you know so and then there's too many cons in this and no yeah and there's some future there's too many cons pretty much. <laughs> but we know it's a lot of females out here that got a lot of cons on that list and they still like but you know i like it i'm comfortable and they'll deal with it. <laughs> that just made me sad for a second. Or they're like right. Tasha on it's power, like, I'm a drug dealer's wife. Okay? Right. You're not going legit. Like it's supposed to Wait, be. Wait, she really about that life. Yeah. Right. Okay. So the Madden game, sorry, I don't play Madden, yeah. uh, bleeped out Colin Kaepernick's name out of Big Sean's verse <sighs> of Big, a big bang. bang. Yes. And he's wearing the Kaepernick jersey in the video, too. Yes. Uh, big Sean is. That's well. The, the Kaepernick is like the NFL's enemy, yeah. so they probably did it to please the NFL. And I'm e sure EA. They probably does asked anything the NFL say. They probably they asked them yeah. to do. Yeah. To do you that think they anything. asked them, or they did it and like, look, guys, we did this. Yeah, I mean that's a. Oh, I mean, yeah. I mean it's not just Big Sean. Like it's not. I mean it's a. There's a bunch of people on that song. Mm -hmm. Like they specifically. I don't. I mean I don't know. I don't know who who's behind the music of. Right. Madden. Madden, but, but somebody suggested they, they that. Said, are they apologized and, and put it back? This is the second year or two. They, the huh? second, this is also the second year that, that they, Madden has scrubbed his name from the music. Really? I uh, see, I didn't know that. Uh, what song did they? Bars of Soap by Mike Will made it. Yeah. The fact that someone suggested this or either just either just did it. I didn't and even know somebody, about it last year. So they got away with it last year. So they're probably like, just do it again. But it's a bigger song. Yeah, but the fact that you had multiple people just approve this shit. Like, really? I bet you they approved it like nothing. Like, oh, um, yeah, of course. Just get yeah, rid of it. with people, it. I guess. Or even the EA people. It's like, they're just like, Kaepernick, yeah, all that's too much controversy. Cut it out. But did y'all think about the backlash that y'all gonna get? That's my thing. It's like, it's no one there. Well, they got away like, with it the okay. first time. Right. And well, I didn't even true. know that. And I think that they're thinking that the people who would play Madden or people who are like still fucking with the NFL wouldn't fuck with Kaepernick. Yeah. So they're like, probably it's not the same. Or pay attention with there's it. not a lot of crosshairs. So who, yeah. cares, who cares if there's um, controversy or blowback? It's not going to be the people who are actually buying the game. Mm -hmm. Because those are the people. All it took was that one person. A big Sean, because he tweeted about it. Yeah, well, so like a fan tweet um, tagged Nessa mm. in oh. it, and then she responded, and now it's a big thing. It's a big thing. But, and then, yeah, but even Big Sean himself was like, "It's a shame that they removed." YG Kepper said something about. I mean, I don't know what they were gonna do about. Well, they we know YG's feelings on all right. that shit. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it is his song, and like, okay. if you're gonna edit my content, then you should get it too. Yeah. They apologized, yeah? No. No. Yeah, no, they did. They did. They did. And yes, yeah. yeah. No, yeah, sports. And yeah. they oh. and they put it back the name back in. Oh. I didn't know that. You're like, no. <laughs> they're just they're trying to not <laughs> get sued is what it is. Because <laughs> they could have got sued, right? No. I mean, I don't, I don't know what the yeah. rules are. Yeah. At the very least, they don't want to get dragged if people don't buy it, but like... I feel, I feel like, yeah, the damage is done and people... And do. it's the second time you did it. Right. So now you want to apologize? I feel like the people... Because this is challenge going around, like, like boycott. Mm -hmm. Like, Van Lathan started a whole movement. He's, like, tagging all his famous friends of not playing Madden. Oh, and then to yeah. spend the money donating to Colin Kaepernick's... Um, oh, Char Charlamagne, yeah. Yeah. No, you're no, right. He, no, he... Someone... 
that Van guy, Van Lathan, Van Lathan, he nominated Charlemagne, and then Charlemagne did his thing, and then donated right. to the Know Your Rights camp. Yeah. So Char shout out to Charlemagne. Right. We talk about you a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so yes. Cause you keep it hella real. You do keep it hella real, Charlemagne. Okay. You sometimes I don't agree with you. Right. right. You're an asshole, real. but yes. like, I still respect you. Yeah. Right. I like you a lot. Right. Yes. A lot, a lot. You be okay. saying a lot of times you be saying the stuff that we want to say to the people we want to say it to. Right. Like Kanye and all that. Yes. So come on, Michelle. Yes, Charlemagne. <laughs> you, we have a seat saved for you, Charlemagne. Right. <laughs> come on, the show. We'll take a mentorship, maybe some. We'll take DJ and and Angela. Yes. <laughs> we'll have the whole breakfast. We'll be three on three. We have a yeah. whole. We can talk for hours. We're in this okay. breakfast nook. Yes. Exactly. For the breakfast club. <laughs> Perfect for the invitation. <laughs> we shoot our shots. <laughs> we trying to get everybody. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Special thank you to uh, Coast Contra, half of y'all. Yes, and to the other half, just overall. Right. Shout out we'll to Coast Contra. Hope to meet you soon. <laughs> thank you for we coming. We would like to go to one of your shows. Yes. yes. We'll be front row, dancing to Melanated. Right. Bye. Bye. <laughs> but like and subscribe, follow us on Instagram. Drop a fucking comment. Yes, we do reply. <laughs> yes, we reply. And always keep it hella real. Yes. Okay, let's get this stuff out of here.